Right, it's not giving me the ABS <coughs> issue at the moment. So uh, it has been coming on regularly, especially when it gets cold. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take off one wheel at a time. I'm going to be swapping the wheels around for a touch, uh, rotating the wheels anyway. And uh, I'm going to be checking the sensors. I'll also be plugging in my, before so, plugging in my scan tool just to see um, if there is any kind of like a live reading I can take from the sensors, from the ABS sensors. Um, I do suspect it could be this side because um, I did change the spring and I was jiggling around with the ABS sensor but you know I kind of reinstalled it so it possibly might have came off or you know a bit of dirt got in there. I'm not 100% sure but I do suspect this rear side, um, right side to have the problem with the ABS sensor. Right so we've got a confirmed ABS sensor for it. took a long time, normally it takes about a minute, it took about five minutes to scan this, I'm not sure why. <coughs> so let's have a look. I'm hoping for like a live data thing. I'm not sure, there it is, there's the fault. It's popped up. Visa, uh, VSA, some sort of stability thing, ABS. Does not work during test mode. ABS sensor is activated continuously going on. Right. So it's saying on right. live data. ABS motor pump. I'm gonna test that. I think this is what we want. Don't want that relay. Left front, right front, left rear, right rear. Wheel speed, that's what we're looking for. So right now we're gonna get zero wheel speed, right? Because we're not moving. ABS pump. Um, right. Four, once you can kick it to four. Let's try the front again. Just about stretch for this. So you know the right rear is okay. I don't know if I can take it out of gear, kick it backwards. Oh, I'm just going to have to stretch over, you'll see. Where's the registry? I'm doing it by hand now. Yeah, it is registering. Right, right front is okay. Switch this around, do the other side. Well, I've got to change the wheels over first. Swap front for back, basically. Let's do the rear. Let's see if I can get this momentum going. That's working. Get speed. Speed reading on there. Rear, left. Yeah, definitely. Let's try if there's only one left. Can't remember what car this is from. A different design, just the stick. It's angled in such a way. Take it all the way over 180 and you can swing it around. You'd be quite clever. Yep, reading it. So, it's not the sensor. None, none of the sensors are busted. Something else. Right, check in someone's uh, video. Uh, number four. That's the in-car uh, fuse box. See, it's right in the corner there, number four. On the bottom, it's counting from the left, is ABS, so seven and a half amps. And also in the engine compartment, it doesn't seem to match. Uh, I should have really got my Haynes manual, I didn't, didn't bring it. But um, the th one of the 30 amps is the ABS, but the engine compartment one doesn't look anything like it. I'm just gonna have a look to see if this one matches, you know, the. The, the, uh, the interior fuse box as it look like. Just about to see it there, so I'm below my steering wheel. It does say seven and a half amps at the bottom, bottom left. So this one does match, the interior does. So I will check that for fuse first. The fuse box is there, I don't know if you can see that. The fuse box is here. Seven and a half amp there. You should be able to see through it if it's blown. We use the uh, multimeter. I think it's okay. It's the interior 7.5 ABS one. I'm going to check this one first. 
looks more like a relay rather than a fuse. So one, two, second one above. Make sure the engine's turned off by the way. Um, one obvious thing to eliminate is make sure you've got enough dot four in here or whatever dot your thick car is. Um, so I've got dot four in here, dot three or four in there. And they're topped up, they're pretty good because if they were low, you'll have ABS forks since it's hydraulically driven. So, so I hope it's not this, the ABS pump motor. At the moment I'm, I'm stopped, but uh, I'm just gonna run it up and down and see if this is on. It just says it's off at the moment. That would be unfixable for me, really. Uh, it, well, not unfixable, it'd be not worth it, really. But I really have to think about it. If it was an ABS pump motor, who knows where that would be? I'm not even sure where that's driven or anything. If it's electrical, then I'd be okay. If it's like belt driven or cog driven, I, I don't know. So I'm driving it now. It just says ABS pump motor stop. It's in like a stop mode. It's strange, it's just not. I think it means it's broken or it's just stuck somewhere so it's not on. So good I'm doing a test now there's a option I had to raise the codes test stop the vehicle press the brake pedal shift to neutral I think this is like the ABS pedal thing this is the right front of it now establishing vehicle communication so I did feel kickback from that They're called, it's a solenoid test, left rear solenoid. So I, I think, because on the ABS there's four pipes that come out of the unit and they go to each wheel, don't they? They go to kind of slightly break the, not break as in smash, but B-R-A-K-E, one side if it's slipping or, or release. If you, you, you slammed on the brakes it will release one of the two stop you from um, skidding right doing for the left rear I think feel check for kickback yeah I feel some kickback I guess not that much though the ABS unit is kicking it's saying it's stopped, it's some sort of weird... <laughs> it's not, they, all them things are kicking in. The ABS little whatever thing, you feel, the thing you feel when you're skidding and it, it kicks in and kind of like, you can feel it on your foot, on your brake foot. So I don't get it. Don't understand. System pass, no force detected. That's not true. Mm. Right, so uh, B1240, B1240. Permanent trouble code, a problem in the mode control motor circuit, linkage, door or motor. I'm not sure what that is. Linkage, door, door is obvious, or motor, motor circuit. So that's the fault. B1240. I'm look this this uh, website, nearly all the codes, I say nearly B. One two four zero is missing. Don't know what that is. So it could be anything. There's hundreds of them on here. For Honda Jazz D one two four zero or trouble code problem is exactly what it says. Clear the trouble code. 
with um with a machine I guess that I've got. Turn on the ignition to lock zero and then turn on do the check again. This is basically clearly the code. There's an option for self diagnostic. Not exactly sure. Oh my god, look at that. Do all this. How did that happen that you was at the garage? Freak out, wouldn't they? Look at all that lot. Self diagnostic, and it's going off. Well, I've got a lot of functions for the Honda, Honda Civic, I must admit. 100% sure what's meant to be happening. While performing this, the instrument panel brightness controller operates normally with the lights on. Okay. So the trip reset button is used to start the beeper drive circuit. Trip reset. That one. If the vehicle speed sees one point. I think it's this. Trip reset button. Beeper drive circuit. Okay, so I can turn it off, no problem. 900% sure what this is, don't tell me anything. Right, so now it says trouble codes for the display panel are not cleared. This procedure should be performed. So, yeah, we have any problems. Hold the rear window defogger button. Alright, fair enough, I know what that is. The recirculation button. That one. Rear window. Uh, that one. All these secret things. And the pest passenger temperature control. Hot button. Uh, and the passenger temperature control. Up. Hot button. Hot button. Temperature control hot button. Normally. I'm going to turn, turn the hot button hot there. Uh, passenger temperature control hot button. You read it, I'll figure it out. So I did what I wanted there. Press that one, that one in. Not, I didn't even know that was a button, but I pressed it. Um, that one, then I went and pressed that one six seconds. I weren't sure which one it meant. Tried that one first and that one six seconds. Radio on, I don't really understand it. Uh, had the ignition on, released it, nothing happened, I didn't notice anything. Then they gave me this option. System pass, no fault detected. That's what we want to see. Right, now it's passed, so that was weird. It didn't do anything on there, you know, it's meant to do something, but so held it as it wanted. You know, I don't know what kind of fingers you have to do ever do that, 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 and that, and then turned it on because it was off. And then uh, that radio was on, there's one radio on, I don't know why, let, let go of it, tried it again, same, but with that button, I'm not even sure, that, you know, if it was that button or that button it wanted. Uh, depressed, uh, try it again, try it again, and then it allowed me to reset the fault at last. So, don't know. So, you know, I will let you know. By the time I put this video, I'll be driving around, and if ABS faults comes on, I will just put a big red, you know, did not work kind of thing. If it did work, well, give me a thumbs up. Um, 
if you haven't got one of these, you won't be able to do it. Uh, borrow one or something, it's probably, I would say. Borrow, borrow one from somewhere. Quite complicated. Yeah, thanks for watching. Right, so um, a few months later, and the, the problem is persisting. Here we go. And uh, faults in the ABS. I'm hoping it'll give me using a scan tool with the DS708. Uh, uh, I'm hoping it will give me some sort of indication of which where the fault is. Is it the speed sensors? If if so, which will. If it doesn't, I'm gonna. I'm just going to run a um, test on all the wheels and see which speed sensor does not give me a reading and then I'll uh, sort of figure it out from there so I know which front left or front right or left rear, left right yeah, is the faulty one. So there's quite a lot of electrical faults coming up. I'll let you know the results. So pressing the uh, ABS Sense of the VSA Vehicle Stability Assist, I think it's called. Diagnostic System Loading Data. ABS does not work during test mode. ABS indicates activates continuous during diagnosis. Okay. Uh, read codes. Permanent ABS control unit failure. Permanent rear. Well, oh, there we go. There's some information. Left rear wheel sensor speed sensor. There we go. Left rear wheel sen speed sensor. Don't know what that is, but obviously that's the l left rear wheel. Okay. Open circuit failure. So the speed sensor is at fault. ABS VSA control unit that may be related to that. Okay. Uh, function test. I don't know if there's such a function test on this. Access denied. DTS. Uh, trouble codes. That is. Down there. Trouble code. Function test not available because there's a problem with it. These are the ones I want. I'm just going to check them all. And this as well, ABS pump. Anything else? Not that one. Don't even know what that is. None of these other ones. No, no. So, rear uh, left wheel, left front, right front, left rear, right rear. So it should be that third one down. It's not going to give me a reading. There is still there. We'll run it. I'll let you know. I can't really hold the camera, do it, but I will run it and I'll give you the results. What I'm going to do is I'm going to. When I say run it, I'm just going to drive around a little bit and uh, slow speed and then we'll have a look, alright? So I'm just going to pull out the driveway safely and then on sl slow speed we'll have a look. So I'm doing not very fast, all really the same speed. Uh, ABS pump obviously there's nothing causing it to activate. The speed sensors are okay according to that. But there is obviously a fault somewhere. There's a fault that's causing it to suggest that there's a fault in the rear left. So that's the one I'm going to concentrate on. So, so there's still a, a fault there. So the ABS unit is connected to the speed sensors of your car. Uh, it operates from the data it gets from the ABS, from the wheel sensor as a speed sensor. So I'm just gonna 
although I can't tell that it's not reading anything uh, the machine is telling me the diagnostic tool is telling me that's where the fault is on the rear left don't know is it going quickly or you, I mean I'm not looking at it as I'm it will look roughly the same it's not like one suddenly got a really high number or a really low number all right so I'm just gonna get the rear left simply and uh, change it and see how it goes simple as that try and locate the job is trying to locate which speed sensor is faulty. I'm just going to pull the plug so it's going to go dark. And then uh, and then change it and hope for the best. Least destructive possible. Changing sensor is fairly simple. So it comes down to finding the correct ABS sensor. In this case rear left. Uh, there's numbers 5747SMGE01. I'm fitting it. So it's kind of dark, but uh, there's some light on it. Hopefully, you can see see that single. It looks like a 10 mil, 10 mil bolt. Looks like to clean off with a uh, wire brush first, and um, it's attached here and goes in. Yeah, you can see all that. So, if we get it out, it gives you a better idea what we got to do. It's usually a good idea to do that. It doesn't come with a bolt, so that's going to fit in like so. And this should be the right length. This comes with that. It comes with that, it looks like I'm going to be popping, popping things straight off and inserting them. And this one, this end, looks like that. And this is only like £10 I think, on eBay. Right, 